how to scrape data like emails, phone numbers, prices, search results, Amazon products, daily price changes, LinkedIn companies information, products updates, or literally anything from any website with AI. Let's see how. Hi and welcome to the AI powered empire here where everything is powered by artificial intelligence. And in today's tool, we are going to see browse.ai. We are going to see in action how we can extract data or monitor side changes on a specific website. Now, first of all, you just need to click on the link down in the description or just go to browse.ai and then sign up for uh, an account. And then you will see something like this page. You need to uh, create a new task or automate a new task. Okay. So for just our example, we are going to extract uh, data okay, from a specific website. So I'll click on extract data and then you have a quick demo here, right here. So you can watch it if you want. Uh, here you need to enter your URL, the URL for the page that you want to extract data from. Here uh, for this option, record session cookies. This is if the URL, the URL needs login information. Okay, so you need to turn that on if it requires login information. Okay, if it doesn't, like uh, this page, this page uh, right here, you can view it without uh, loginning in uh, AppSumo. Okay. So after that, I'll click on record new task. Now here it's asking me to download the Chrome extension. Okay, just click on it and then you need to download the extension. I already have it, so I will just enable the Chrome extension right here. And also you need to allow in incognito mode. Okay, make sure to uh, set that to on for this uh, extension. And then going back, after that, yeah, it automatically catches my uh, installation of the Chrome extension. OK, then click on continue and you can now record the, the data. Click on record new task. Now it will open a new window, as you can see right here. So it opened the URL that I've added. Now you'll see a little uh, bot right here. You can read uh, what it says right here to understand how it works. Okay, understood. Now this part you can see it's following the mouse and uh, if you click on it, you'll see uh, some options, capture list, capture text, capture screenshots, and you can disc uh, discard recording. Okay, so for our example, we are going to capture a list, right? So click on it and then select the list that we want to extract. You can see I'm just moving the mouse right now and it's already it's uh, automatically uh, changes that what I want to uh, to select, right? So for example, the menu, uh, the list right here. So, so for this example, I'm going to uh, to see or monitor what is hot on AppSumo each day. So I will just select on the list right here. I just click on uh, right here, not on this one. I'll click right here. And then now I can select the text or what I want to track from this list. So for me, it's the title, the description and the price, right? Uh, capture visible text, not the HTML. I don't know an HTML. I just click on capture text. And also I think uh, the, the URL, if we can click here, I think on the image. No, it's not the image. Now, if you clicked on something and you want to go back, then just click on uh, exit on your uh, keyboard. So I want also to capture the link. So I'll click on this and capture link. OK, so now I've selected the information. I think I need the image also. Now I have selected my information. Now, after that, uh, either press uh, exit uh, on your keyboard to cancel or undo the last change, the last select or enter, uh, press on enter. I uh, press on enter and then it will uh, tell me that, hey, name the, uh, the information that you want to uh, extract. So for me, here is the name. This is a product name. OK, then description. Then this is the price. So you can name the information, whatever you want. And then this is the type, deal type. Here, uh, this is the link, the link for the deal. Okay. 
than uh, the image okay now it's showing an example of the text that I've selected so it will show just one item don't worry about that just name the list right here so for for me AppSumo hot deal list okay capture list and now well done everything is set up now don't worry we have just captured one item don't worry about the others now I'll click on OK understood and then I click on the bar finish recording and I'll be good to go now it redirected me to the uh, browse.ai and I've just named the task uh, AppSumo hot deals save and now the system is triggering and uh, capturing the information for me so you can see it captured the whole information for the uh, for the item or uh, the products okay so it captured just 10 uh, products you can capture more if you want only 10 list items were extract as a sample to review okay now if, if you scroll down you'll see uh, the screenshot and uh, you can select uh, one of these results that you like for example you want to delete this task no report an issue no let me try to re-record the task or it's just good for me it's good i will just click on yes looks good and now it's all done now if i want to manually re-extract information uh, right now i'll just click here and select uh, how many list items i want to uh, extract i will just increase that number to 20 and click on run task and now it's done you can see that it uh, just extracted 14 uh, items this is because of my plan i think I cannot extract more than that in uh, run in one run so you can see all the information uh, that i've selected for example product name disk price type these are what i have put uh, just a minute ago okay the the link and the image okay so now i've seen the results i can scroll down and see a final screenshot for the page this screenshot is important to know because when uh, extracting the data from here you might see some uh, errors or some data that you don't you don't want to see right maybe the site have been changed uh, after for example one month and uh, your task is running uh, for three months for example so after one month you maybe the site have have been changed so you can see a final screenshot for that to know if this uh, to know the state of the site okay so going back to the top you can see that this is triggered by my account ai powered empire and it's finished successfully if you click on history you can see there is a previous one that is uh, triggered by the system this is done automatically okay now this task will not run again until i manually click on run task or you can click on monitor right here and add new monitor to keep the task running each for example each day each hour each minute for example each month maybe so for me as i'm on the free plan I, I cannot run it under one day okay so i'll select it for example three days the url what is the url the same I use the default uh, how many list items i want for example uh, 15 and the monitor name i can name it whatever i want and you can set a notification email to need to, uh, to notify you whenever there is a change uh, captured in the text okay and then i click on save monitor and you'll be good to go now you might want to integrate uh, those data that you are extracting each day or each month or each week to uh, excel or google sheets or any other uh, app that you are working on just click on integrate right here and you can enable google sheet uh, sensing which will sense your information that you are extracting automatically to google sheet okay you can even set webhooks to uh, call a url right here when a, sp a specific task that uh, is finished successfully or or has an error also you can set api for uh, with Z zapier and uh, trigger custom actions with zapier okay now here in the settings you can set some default variables for example the url 
the list items, the video recording, record the video on every task execution. If you want to record that, then you can click here, double check, you can, uh, you know, to double check the information. If you want to extract the records manually or the information manually, then you need to go to either run task or history and then click on the task that you have uh, run and then here you can export the data to csv in an excel format okay you can just click here and you can go and open the data on excel okay you can see the data has been exported to excel now do you know what is crazier than this ai it's the tool that can make real human faces but generated by AI. Let me reveal that technology for you in this video right here. Click on it and I will continue with you there. Thank you.